I just stayed at nine of the most popular resorts in Cancun. And in this video, I'm ranking them from worst to first. And unlike every other top hotel video on YouTube, I actually stayed at these properties all within the last year, all for four nights each, sometimes more. I checked out all the bars, the restaurants, the pools, the beaches, the entertainment, and of course the experience. And in this video, I'm ranking all of them from number nine to number one. Ryu Cancun starts the list at number nine. This is the most popular Ryu in Cancun and one of the cheapest all-inclusive resorts in Mexico. During peak season, I paid $150 a night, which is mind-blowing. Staying at a hostel and eating every meal at McDonald's would be more expensive than staying at Ryu Cancun. Cancun. The pool setup for Ryu is astonishingly beautiful, and for a family hotel, the crowd was heavily tilted towards adults. One of the biggest benefits of staying at a Ryu is access to the Ryu parties, which are simply outrageous and probably the best in Cancun. But unfortunately, Ryu Cancun does have some fatal flaws. The food on its best day is below average, the beach is razor thin, and the rooms will remind you of a Soviet university. If you're looking to have the best time in Cancun for the cheapest price, it's all about a Ryu. Ryu Cancun comes in at number nine. And we get a shocker almost immediately. Majestic Elegance comes in at number eight. Majestic Elegance Cancun is a prime example of a resort that is great on paper, but underwhelming in actuality. Many of the individual components are appealing. It has a two-story lobby with an all-white motif, a glass facade, lots of options. It's a breathtaking place to unwind. Majestic properties are consistently regarded for their above average food and dining, and this location is no exception. Majestic Elegance Cancun is essentially brand new. There's an adults only component, and for the money, the luxury you get is a relative bargain. But the location in Costa Mujeres is majorly undesirable, the beach is mediocre, and the experience was downright bland. Majestic Elegance comes in at number eight. Although number seven isn't necessarily better than Majestic Elegance, its location certainly is. Paradisus is located in arguably the best area of the Cancun hotel zone, offering prime access to Cancun's top beaches, restaurants, shopping, and entertainment. When I would stay next door at the JW Marriott and Ritz-Carlton, I'd walk by Paradisus and often wonder what it was like on the inside, because to me, from the outside, it looked a little cheesy. But the inside is definitely a bipolar contrast to the outside. It's amazingly upscale, comfortable, soothing, and unique. I had one of my most unforgettable all-inclusive dining experiences at Lemon Fish, the Asian restaurant that's located in the atrium. And for a regular general family pool, the main pool at Paradisus was impressively large with lots of options. But it wasn't all paradise at Paradisus Cancun. The rooms were outdated and small. The nightlife was pretty much non-existent. And overall, the options, activities, and entertainment were supremely lacking for a resort of this price and prestige. TRS Coral comes in at number six. Uh, this was one that I was shocked. I couldn't believe how nice it was, especially after staying at TRS Turquesa in Punta Cana. Like a lot of properties up in Costa Mujeres, this is relatively new, and it really is the epitome of modern luxury. The biggest benefit of staying at TRS Coral is that there's no BS. No upsells, no extra fees, no premium packages, no exclusive areas. The cheapest package gives you access to everything and everywhere on property. The basic room at TRS Coral is incredible. It might be the best entry-level room I've seen at an all-inclusive up until this point. And whether you opt for the cheapest room or the most expensive one, everybody on property is assigned a butler. The pool at TRS Coral is magnificent. Of the hotels on this list, it's definitely in the top three. Uh, the service is fantastic. The value is extraordinary. And for the most part, the food was pretty good. Uh, TRS Coral just has two big flaws. Number one, it's located in Costa Mujeres. It's the isolated, desolate part of northern Cancun. It's approximately 35 to 45 minutes from the hotel zone, which means longer and more expensive transfer times. And more importantly, number two, TRS Coral is not a standalone hotel. It's actually just an adults-only option of Grand Palladium, the larger resort next door. TRS Coral doesn't have a gym, a spa, a coffee shop, or dedicated entertainment. And besides the lobby bar, there's just one nightlife option. Hard Rock comes in at number five. Without a doubt, the best thing about staying at Hard Rock Cancun is going to its pool. I think it's the best all-inclusive pool I've seen up until this point. 
Also, the entertainment, specifically the evening shows, were phenomenal. They take place in an actual theater with stadium seating, and the production value was exceptional. Even the rooms, which are scheduled to be remodeled, were pretty decent. Just looking back, Hard Rock Cancun was underwhelming. For a Cancun location, it was shockingly small, and because of that, the options, specifically the nightlife, were limited. As I said in my video, if you like Hard Rock, you will love Planet Hollywood. It comes in slightly better at number four. Planet Hollywood is actually the place to stay if you're looking for a more traditional Hard Rock experience, but you're going to get something that's fresher, more polished, and more vibrant. And that's why it comes in ahead of Hard Rock at number four. And unlike Hard Rock Cancun, Planet Hollywood has an adults-only area with a separate campus which means more restaurants, more pools, and more options. And even though Planet Hollywood Cancun is a massive 48-acre property, walking it, even from end to end, was a breeze. It's cooler than Hard Rock, it's classier than Hard Rock, it's more complete than Hard Rock, and most importantly, it's cheaper than Hard Rock. Planet Hollywood is a place where anybody from the age of 5 to 55 can go and have a fun, unforgettable experience. If it wasn't for the poor food and location, this hotel could score off the charts. At number three, we have the legendary Live Aqua. At one time, it was the most famous hotel in all of Riviera Maya. The legendary Live Aqua comes in at number three. This hotel, along with Le Blanc, wrote the book and set the standard for luxury adults only all-inclusives in Cancun. This is my second Live Aqua property this year, and the most obvious standout is the service. There is great service there's excellent service, and then there's world-class service. The service at Live Aqua is so amazing, it will make you re-examine and redefine its true meaning. The pool at Live Aqua Cancun is marvelous. It's the second best pool on this list. It's gigantic, and it's really four pools in one, which means multiple pool days without getting bored. The dining at Live Aqua Cancun is special as well. Hidden Garden, the bungalow Asian restaurant, as well as MB, the chic and swanky Latin restaurant, were refreshing reprieves from the usual and predictable all-inclusive venue. And for coffee lovers, Live Aqua has a Starbucks on site. I've never seen this before at any all-inclusive. But Live Aqua Cancun felt more Miami than it did Mexico, and I left wanting more. It just didn't have that X factor that you should get when you stay at a luxury hotel and pay this kind of price. Royalton Chic, the adults-only Royalton Chic, comes in at number two. This is one I never expected. It's actually the perfect blend of Live Aqua and Planet Hollywood, which for ages of 25 to 55, it's the perfect setup. Royalton Chic Cancun is one of the most complete, consistent, and well-rounded, all-inclusive experiences I've ever encountered. The rooms were fresh, spacious, upscale, and if you opt for an ocean-facing room, the views are spectacular. And when you go to the ground level and get to the beach, the in-person experience is just as amazing as the views from afar. This is one of my favorite beaches in Cancun. Royalton Chic Cancun has three pools, one of which is located on the rooftop, which is where they throw their super fun parties both during the day and during the night. And for those looking for something slightly less crazy, there are multiple bars and lounges scattered throughout the property. So whether it's a pool bar or late night lounge, there's always a cool fun place to get a cocktail and catch a vibe. There are nightly entertainment shows. The food is impressively good for a Royalton property, and this might be the best crowd in Cancun. And number one is Ibiru Star Selection Cancun. I am shocked. I still can't believe it. If you told me this would rank higher than Live Aqua, Hard Rock, Majestic Elegance, I would have dismissed that as absurd. But that's why I forced myself to try new places and all different sorts of hotels. There are gems to be found, and this gem shines bright at number one. If you haven't seen my full video, I'll link it below, along with every full video of every hotel on this list. This hotel basically has it all. Uh, great food, great location, beach, pool, class, personality, service, value. There are general options, family options, adult-only options, loads of activities during the day, multiple nightlife options in the evening. I opted for the adults-only coral side where every room is oceanfront and the beach is awesome over there. In my Ibiru Star Selection Cancun video, I simply move from experience to experience 
day by day, and each one gets progressively better and better. This is one of the rare instances where I left an upscale resort feeling I actually got more than what I paid for. It has style, it has luxury, but it's more covert than it is cocky. But I'll take class and consistency over flash and fake every single time. I am so glad I booked this hotel. This might be the biggest travel surprise I got this year. Iberia Star Selection Cancun comes in at number one. Now there is one major property missing from this list and that is Moon Palace. It is absolutely one of the most popular in Cancun. Uh, I canceled it for this amazing experience, but I'm definitely going there soon along with five other awesome Cancun hotels.